My favourite pastry chef, Kirsten Tibbles, is going to be making me another delicious cake. And boy, does she make a serious cake. What are you making today? Well, this one's a little bit lighter than normal, not heavy and chocolatey. We're making a strawberry shortcake, which is really refreshing, and this one is so simple to make. So we're going to start with the pastry. Okay. We're going to put the butter, sugar and cinnamon mm -hmm. in the mixer with a paddle attachment. You can also do this by hand if you want to. Just mix it until we've got no lumps of butter. Mm -hmm. Once the butter's smooth, we're then going to add in flour and baking powder. So just some caster sugar and cinnamon. This is a lovely touch to a pastry. I think it goes really well with strawberry. A little mm. bit of vanilla and cream. It's a perfect accompaniment. We're just going to mix this together until the butter is completely smooth and then we can add in our dry ingredients. All right. So once we add in the flour, it's important that we don't over mix it. The whole mm. idea of the shortbread is that you can break it and it's nice and crunchy. Mm. We don't want it to be stretchy or elastic like bread or dough. Okay, how's that looking? That's perfect, completely smooth, so we can add in the plain flour. And we're adding baking powder into this shortbread. Uh -huh. Gives the pastry a little bit of a kick, which is fantastic because it makes it really light and crunchy and very easy to cut and beautiful to eat, of course. All right, put that on a low speed. Gentle. Gentle and soft. <laughs> Looks good. So if the dough is still a bit crumbly and it hasn't come together, don't panic about that because we will bring it together on the bench. Now you can place this in the fridge if it's really soft, but usually you can roll it out straight away. That's actually nice to know because I think that's a deterrent for people to make pastry, going back and forth from the fridge all the time. I think that sometimes is a deterrent, but this one is so easy. Wait till you see the next step. So people with pastry often hate lining tart rings. I'm going to show you how easy mm -hmm. this Breton shortbread is. So this originated in Brittany in France, so it's from that region in France. Do you know what, Kirst, when I was a little girl and I would travel to, to France to see my grandmother, she would take me to Brittany just for these cakes because they were that delicious. Because the better. butter is very different, the flour is different. It's always nice to taste something from that specific region when you're travelling. It does, it always it? makes you feel a little bit more fancy yeah. to have something. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm just making this a tiny bit bigger. We'll have a little bit of offcuts, and with my shortbread offcuts, I always just place them in the freezer, mm -hmm. and then I grate them to make a crumble. So if you oh. want to make a really quick dessert, yep. doesn't matter if you mix all your shortbread offcuts together. It makes freeze a great them. crumble. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we'll cut that. I'll keep those offcuts. <laughs> <laughs> Now with this, we don't actually grease the ring at all. Typical of a Breton shortbread, it rises up and collapses in the center and the sides will stay up a little bit. But if you grease the ring, it won't actually stay up on the sides. Mm. So we want that little bit of a lip on the side. Thank you. So I'm gonna pick that up. Gorgeous. Place that on there. And how long are we baking this in the oven and what temperature? We're going to bake this at 170 degrees Celsius for about 12 to 14 minutes, just until it's a nice light golden brown colour. The Breton shortbread has come out of the oven. While it's still warm, you need to run the knife around the edge just to loosen it to ensure that you can get the ring off. We take the ring off. Perfect. Careful that we don't <laughs> break the shortbread. Now I'm going to use a second ring that I've lined with oil. Mm -hmm. We're going to then dust that with caster sugar mm -hmm. and the sugar dissolves and it keeps it slippery on the side mm. so the cake will come straight out. What a sensational idea. We're now going to place that back on to the Breton shortbread. Now, Justine, mm -hmm. if you can start by whipping the cream up, we're okay, going to whip that with some icing sugar and some vanilla bean paste, and we're going to whip that to about 75% of the way. I have some strawberries here that I've cut the tops off and I've cut them in half. You know I'm a perfectionist. She's a perfectionist. <laughs> so I've scoured through and I go in and pick strawberries that are similar in size so that when I place them in, they're all going to come to a similar height. So I've cut them. I'm just going to press them into the side, right around on top of the shortbread to create a border. So you can add in the icing sugar and vanilla now. Okay, icing sugar. And I'm halfway through the strawberries. I'm just going to soak the gelatin in some cold water. So we submerge these in until they become pliable. So we're basically rehydrating them. 
and this is going to help us to set the cream. Uh -huh. How's that looking, Kirst? That looks amazing. Okay. Just, I reckon, a couple of rounds more One, and we'll be there. Two, <laughs> That's two, <it>. four, five. <laughs> so you can see the gelatin now has become nice and pliable mm -hmm. and I'm going to melt that on a double boiler. You can also melt it in the microwave just 10 seconds at a time. Mm -hmm. And how did you want these leftover strawberries if I don't eat them all beforehand? Just <laughs> finely diced. Finely diced. I can do that for you. I'm going to give that gelatin a stir there. The water did boil on the double boiler and I've turned it off because you don't want the gelatin to get too, too hot. You don't heat it above 80 degrees. So what we're going to do, a little trick when you've got gelatin and because we've got so much cream there, we pour the gelatin directly into the cream. It's just going to set when it touches the surface. So we're going to take a little bit of that cream, mix it with the gelatin before adding it back in. All right, I'll swap that over. So just a small, look at that cream. Whipped to your standards? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so just adding that cream in there. We are going to sacrifice a little bit of air, that cream that I'm adding, but that is fine. Mix that in. That's just going to ensure that that gelatin is going to incorporate really evenly. So now I'm going to fold that through. So pouring it in. Now I'm going to scrape that in. We don't want to miss any of the gelatin to ensure that it sets. And I'm going to just fold that through. I think this is a spectacular dessert if you've got people coming over to present. It could be afternoon tea. I think it's really, really versatile. We're going to add a little bit of the cream now into the base. And you can put the remaining strawberries into the cream there. And what I'm going to do is push the cream up to the side so it covers the strawberries so that it's nice and clean on the side and I haven't got those diced strawberries messing up the contrast of white and red. Mm. So they're just going to go into the cream that goes into the centre. So we push that all to the side. So this is just enough, really, to coat the sides of the ring. Yep. So we've got perfect, perfect edges. Now that we've got all the sides covered, mm -hmm. we're going to put the rest of the mixture with those strawberries mm. in there. You didn't eat too many. I had two, Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to smooth off the top and then this is going to go into the fridge for about four to six hours or you can make it the day before and then serve it the next day. Strawberry shortcakes just out of the fridge. It's good. Justine, do you want to quarter some strawberries for the garnish? And do. And now this should just slide out. It should. <laughs> of course it will. Fingers crossed. So an easy way to get the ring off is to actually put a smaller bowl underneath. There we go. And I'm just going to put pressure on that. Mm -hmm. It comes off so easily. Oh, wow. Not bad, Kirsten Tibbles. <laughs> <laughs> Love the strawberry collar. So we place that down on our plate. Now, if you're travelling with this, you will need to secure it onto the plate because of the shortbread. It'll swim around on the plate a little bit, but we're not, fortunately. No. <laughs> it's all for us today. We're going to go with our strawberries on top. Big pile in the middle. And to finish, we're going to put a little dust of icing sugar. That just ties everything together, doesn't it? You know what? You're my hero. <laughs> I love your desserts. Every single dessert is perfect. Strawberries and cream, and this is just knocked out of the park because that looks divine. Thanks, Kirst. Thanks for having me.